Hello, I'm Janie and welcome to Little Kids Praise. Perhaps you've been here before or maybe it's your first time. It really doesn't matter. We're glad that you have joined us and we would love you to take part in everything that we do. Now, we normally start off with a song, but before our song, we need to do a warm up, don't we? Now, today, we're going to hear some sounds of some animals and I would like you to copy them. I wonder what animals we are going to hear. Are you listening carefully? Well, let's begin. Well, I think you are now ready to sing our song. So why don't you stand up as we sing and dance together? Now it's come to that time for us to play a little game together. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of some sheep and I would love you to shout out how many you can see. So are you ready to start counting? Well let's begin. How many sheep can you see? Well done, there are two sheep. How many sheep can you see? Yes, that's right, there are four sheep. How many sheep can you see? Well done, that's right, there's one little sheep. How many sheep can you see? Well, that's a little bit of a difficult one, isn't there? Because there are so many, but I think there might be 14 sheep there, but I'm not sure because there's so many. Now, I wonder, do you have a pet at home? Or do you know someone who's got a pet? Maybe somebody's got a sheep you know too. 
Well, I wonder how much you love that pet. Do you love that pet this much? I wonder if you love your pet this much. I wonder, do you love your pet this much? Well, let me tell you a story that Jesus once shared about how much God loves you. And this was all through an illustration using a shepherd and his sheep. So, are you ready for our story? I hope you're sat comfortably. Well, let's begin. Cecil, the lost sheep. What sort of animal does this man have? Rabbits? No, he doesn't have rabbits. Giraffes? Well, maybe he has giraffes, but they don't get mentioned in this story. Sheep? Yes, he has sheep. In fact, he has 100 sheep, including Cecil. Now, one day, Cecil was daydreaming. Boring, boring, boring. All I do is hang around with sheep and eat grass and wander down to the river for a bit of a drink and eat more grass. Maybe I could run away and, and get a bike. Or I could join a band. Cecil looked right. Cecil looked left and he jumped over his rock and he hid. From behind the rock he snuck behind the tree and from behind the tree he ran over the hills and to the mountains. Yes, the mountains! He reached the mountains and discovered they were high and steep. He began climbing higher and higher and it got steeper and steeper and steeper. He climbed and he climbed until he couldn't climb up and he couldn't climb down and oh no, Cecil was stuck. He sat on the edge of the ledge and he started thinking, well, I could shout for help, but what will happen if the shepherd finds me? He might whack me with his big stick and then he might grab me by my leg and drag me home and he might tie me to a tree without any dinner. Well, back home the shepherd was counting his sheep. One, Terry. Two, Kevin. Three, Bronwyn. Four, Lucinda. Ninety-six, Meredith. 97 the other Meredith, 98 Amy, 99 Emily, 1, 2, 3, 4, 96, 97, 98, 99. Cecil is missing! The shepherd quickly ran to the rock and he found hoof prints leading behind the tree. And he ran behind the tree and found hoof prints leading over the hills. Yes, to the mountains. Yes, the mountains. The mountains were high and steep. And the shepherd climbed higher and higher. And it got steeper and steeper. And when he thought he couldn't climb any further. And he wasn't sure if he could climb back down. He heard a noise. <coughs> Cecil was saved! And what did the shepherd do? Did he whack Cecil with his stick? No. Did he grab Cecil by the leg and drag him down the mountains? No. He was so glad that he found his lost sheep that he put Cecil on his shoulders and he carried him home. And when they got home, did the shepherd tie Cecil to a tree without any dinner? No, 
Instead, he threw a huge party and everyone stayed up way past their bedtime. Cecil, the lost sheep, had been found. So there's our story from the Bible. I wonder, how much do you think the shepherd loved Cecil, the sheep? Do you think he loved Cecil this much? Do you think he loved Cecil this much? Or do you think he loved Cecil this much? Well, I think the shepherd loved Cecil this much. I think he loved him lots and lots and lots. And that's why he went to go and try and find him. Because he was really caring and he would have really missed Cecil if he'd gone missing. Well, I wonder if God is the shepherd and we are the sheep, how much do you think that God loves us? Do you think God loves us this much? Do you think God loves us this much? Or do you think God loves us this much? I think God loves us this much. God does. He loves and he cares us for us so, so much. Oh, hello there, Mr. Bible. It's nice to see you. I have something really exciting to share with you. Would you like to hear what I have to say? Oh, Mr. Bible, you're very keen today. You haven't even said hello to the boys and girls. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. Hello, everyone. That's okay, Mr. Bible. Would you like to say hello to Mr. Bible? Oh, that's really nice, isn't it, Mr. Bible, that they got to say hello to you? Well, Mr. Bible, it's now come to that time for you to share your really special message with us. Could you tell the boys and girls what you would like to say to us today? Oh, thank you. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. And that's from the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verse 15. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Bible, for sharing that. That's a really, really special message. Well, could you say goodbye to Mr. Bible now? And Mr. Bible, can you say goodbye to all of the boys and girls? Bye-bye, boys and girls. Well, thank you, Mr. Bible. We'll see you next time. Well, we're going to sing another song now, so why don't you stand as we sing and dance together?
come to that time in our program for a shout out and to see all your amazing crafts that you have been busy making. Now we have had lots and lots of pictures come in of you making and playing with your boats and you can see some of them here. But today's special shout out goes to Sophie. What an amazing boat you have made. You have been very busy. Good job. Well, next week, you might get a chance to appear in our shout out. All you have to do is get creative and make a sheep. You can do this any way you like with the materials you have at home. You can do one like Ethan and I here. We've just got a paper plate and stuck some cotton wool on to make a mask. Or go to our website and download a colouring in sheet. So it's almost come to the end. But before we say goodbye, I would love you to join me as we say a little prayer together. So why don't you put your hands together and close your eyes as we pray. Dear God, thank you for making us all special. Help us to remember to love one another just as you have loved us. Thank you that you love us and that we love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's all for now. Don't forget to send me your pictures by no later than Thursday morning for your chance to be in our shout out. See you next time. Bye-bye.